Hi everybody, Agents Lane, Elizabeth and Brian. And today we would like to review with you the contingencies for buyers and what that all entails. Um, and it's not just important for buyers, but also for sellers. And Brian, if you wouldn't mind to tell us like what are the three contingencies that we're always talking about and what sure. they mean. So we've got, like she said, three contingencies. And the first one and probably the most important one for the buyers is the inspection contingency. This is your opportunity to go in with professionals have the house totally looked at you've got a general inspector going in there you have a termite inspection you have a sewer inspection and if the house needs it we get into more detail with electrical plumbing chimney inspections some different things so a lot of different pieces but at the end of that period you're going to know everything there is to know physically about that house which is really critical and yep. puts buyers at ease for sure that uh, general uh, period of time is 17 days for that inspection right. Second one is the uh, appraisal contingency. This is put forth by the bank to make sure that the home has the value right. that you need to actually get a loan on it. So right. they wanna make sure they're loaning on a good asset. And of course, buyers wanna know that they're not overpaying for a property and the appraisal helps you with that. So that right. one comes Unless in. Unless you have um, all cash, then you don't need an appraisal. Then you don't need an appraisal, <laughs> which is true. Um, on that one, the buyer does pay for the uh, appraisal. That's usually between four and $700 approximately. And then the third one is the loan contingency. This is to keep you safe as the buyer if for some reason in escrow, all of a sudden you can't qualify for the loan. So this doesn't happen that often because the uh, banks vet you very hard to begin with before they give the pre-approval. But sometimes they're, for some reason they can't loan on the house and you can get out safely, get your deposit back with the loan contingency you're banging on the furniture that's what it was I'm like, what's that noise <laughs> exactly Sorry. so that being said what are some things we do you know with our buyers to help them to make it all work with these contingencies because it's a critical part of the escrow process yeah so what's really important is that sellers want to see that the buyers are super motivated and we show that by decreasing the time frame on these three contingencies when we're able to. Sure. And, and mainly we can, especially for the inspection contingency, we take from 17 days to as little as seven, sometimes as little as five. But in 10 days, we can definitely get all that done and then still submit for a request for repair to negotiate a credit if need be. Um, so that's, that's a yes. We always definitely support that for a buyer. Right. The second one is the appraisal. That's a little bit stickier because it depends on your down payment. It's easier to let go of it altogether. Yes, let go of the appraisal contingency altogether. A lot of our buyers are doing that because they have more than 20% down. So that buffer is really simple to just absorb if it doesn't appraise. But honestly, we've never seen a house not appraise. Yeah, in, not, um, not in a few years for sure yeah. in this market. Yeah, but, but we do keep you safe regardless. Uh, we have a different way of negotiating if you have 5% down or 10% down and you still want to do that, we can still do that for you. Let us, let us know if you want to know more about that. Um, and then for the loan, um, oh, for the appraisal as well, we decrease it as well. So it's 17 days and we bring it down to 12 usually. Yeah. That. Yeah. That's, that's pretty aggressive. Um, and most lenders can still do that because now the refinancing has lessened a little bit. And lastly, for the loan contingency, that's normally on the contract 21 days, but we reduce that to about 14 days, 17 days, depending on your lender, um, because they will have to work closely with us to bless that decrease. And so these are the ways that we negotiate on your behalf to keep you super strong yet safe during the escrow process. A quick overview of contingencies. Obviously there's more to it than just this, but at least gives you an idea of what you're looking forward to as maybe a new home buyer. If you have any questions, let us know. Yes, absolutely. Thank you again for listening and reach out to us with any real estate questions. Thank you. Bye.